Now let's see how to construct a bigger uh, DML de uh, decoder using a smaller decoders. And for the sake of understanding, I, I mean just for the sake of analysis, I'm not going to take any numbers here. I'll just put in you know some variables and we shall analyze it. And this can be extended to any numbers. And in exam, if they give you some number, you know variables, it will be useful to analyze it this way. So assume that I want to construct a m by 2 power m decoder which is a bigger decoder using n by 2 power n decoder right so either you, can, you could analyze the question like this or i don't like to analyze it using two powers so what i do is instead of analyzing it like this i, I can even analyze it like this i want to construct log m by m decoder using log n by n decoder so this is this is the uh, a bigger decoder I want to implement using the smaller decoders right now how could I implement it is so one thing is you should you should know that if the decoder is of log n by n it means that it is able to cover n output lines if I have n output lines it, it all can be covered by one device which means all these n output lines can be covered by one device so one device is capable of covering n lines right therefore you can even say that one line has to be uh, could be covered by one by n devices so why am i writing like this it doesn't really make sense see one device covers n lines which means one device has n output lines it makes sense but then not to cover one line what is this one by n devices are required it doesn't make sense but then in derivation it is going to be useful right so now you know that i want to construct log m by m which means the number of output lines here are going to be m lines and therefore I uh, will come like this all these lines have to be covered by all the decoders available and next all the enable lines of these decoders have to be covered by next decoders available I will come like this from that side right so first thing is the number of lines which have to be covered by the level 1 decoder I am saying that the last level is the level 1 right so the number of uh, decoders which are required is I have to cover m lines therefore number of decoders which are required to cover is m by n decoders are required to cover m lines isn't it so if I have to cover all these m lines and each decoder available is able to cover only n lines then how many decoders are required m by n decoders are required if I put these many decoders and each one is able to cover n lines then multiplied with n is these many lines all these lines will be covered now what happens is when i put these many decoders in that level every decoder is going to give you a enable enable input line therefore one line is going to come out so for the next level of uh, you know decoders the number of incoming li lines will be these many isn't it therefore m by n lines will be incoming to to be covered by the next level therefore by the next level m by n square decoders are required now this is going to be the next level for the next level m by n squared lines have to be covered then how many devices are required m by n cube devices are required right so now when are we going to stop this one assume that we have first one level two levels three levels so on k levels of decoders required then i am going to stop it whenever this requires you know at k levels then it is going to be m by n power k devices so finally when the number of devices required at the kth level is 1 then i am going to stop it which means i need m by n power k has to be 1 right but then sometimes what happens is in some examples in the last level we don't need the full capacity of the decoder we just need part of it I mean we don't use all the output lines available we just use a part of it next I'll, I'll show you with an example what I mean to say by that but then uh, if that is true which means in the last level if I don't need one complete decoder then it is going to be like this if this is going to require less than one one device then I'm going to stop it there right then what does it imply that implies that k has to be greater than or equal to log m divided by log n right so these many levels are required if k is greater than or equal to which means 
uh, at least these many levels are required in order to realize or in order to implement uh, log n log m by m decoder using log n by n decoder. If we have to realize this, I need these many levels, k levels, right? Then uh, if at every level, if you look at it, at level 1, the number of decoders required is m by n power 1. At level 2, the number of decoders required is m by n power 2. At level 3, m by n power 3. Similarly, at level k, m by n power k. Now, if we have k levels, then what is the total number of devices required is, see this, the number of levels are 1 to log m divided by log n. These many levels are required, isn't it? And now, we know that at every level, the number of devices required is n power k, m by n power k. Therefore, these many devices are required in total. So, number of you know, devices required is those many and the number of levels required is this many, right? So, if you want to see how it works, maybe we have already done some examples on this, right? So, let us see how it works. Um, the example which we have taken is, I think 6 by 64 decoder we, are, we have constructed using, I think 4 by 16 decoder, right? So, in this case, what is M? M is 64 and so, okay, see, whenever this question is given, you should, have, you should be able to identify according to our derivation, what is M we have taken and what is N we have taken. Therefore, uh, we have the number of levels required is log 64 divided by log 16. So, which is nothing but 6 by 4, hmm? is it 6 by 4 only? Yeah, 6 by 4 which is 3 by 2. So, 3 by 2 means 2 levels are required, not completely. So, oh, is, it, is it true? 64 is 6 and uh, this is 4, 6 by 4, 3 by 2. 3 by 2 means 1.5. So, 1.5 means uh, it has to be sealed, right? So, seal means it is going to be 2 levels. So, with 2 levels, is it possible to implement it? Huh, I think with 2 levels, it is possible to implement it, right? Okay, fine. So, 2 levels are required and how many, uh, how many total decoders are required? In level 1, the total decoders required is m by n, which means 64 by 16, which is nothing but 8 are required, right? And in level 2, how many decoders are required? Uh, 8 by 16, which means 1 by 2. This is what I am talking about, right? So, in the level 2, we do not need complete decoder. We need only some part of it. But then we cannot give part of it. Therefore, we have to give complete decoder. Even if you give complete decoder, we are not going to use completely. We are going to use only half of it. So, what? Uh, so how many are required? So, 8 plus 1, totally 9, 9 decoders are required. I will just explain you what happened there. See this? What has really happened there is, we wanted to construct a decoder, we wanted to construct a decoder which is having 64 lines, right? And therefore, at the first level, we have implemented it using 8 decoders, right? And because of 8 decoders, I got number of lines equal to 8. But then if I put the next decoder which is, you know, 16, uh, only 8 are required, only 8 enable signals are coming in, but then the output it is capable of is 16. Therefore, only half of it is required. So, what happens is, even if you have 16, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so on 15, even if I have till here, I am going to use only half of it to connect to the enables of the next level and half of it is completely free, right? Therefore, I am only using half of the decoder, got it? That is what is the meaning of it, right? So, uh, maybe let us see one more question uh, which we have seen. Let us say I want to implement a 7 by 128 decoder using a 1 by 2 decoder. Then how many levels are required and what is the total number of uh, uh, this uh, decoders required? So, one thing is the number of levels required is log this m by n right the number of this is m and this is n the number of levels required is log m by log n then how much is this you have to put a seal why k is greater than or equal to right so when okay remember this whenever the an, the question is like answer is like greater than or equal to always put a seal whenever it is less than or equal to always put a floor okay um, now see this uh, that I have explained it in computer networks in one of the topic you please refer to that and then you will understand this one. 
so log m is nothing but log 128 divided by log 2 which is nothing but 7 levels so 7 levels are required and what is the total number of uh, decoder uh, this decoders required is at level 1 128 by 2 right and level 2 128 by 2 square and level 3 128 by 2 cube so on at 7th level 128 by 2 power 7 which is 1 right so you can add them all then you are going to get total number of decoders required got it understood this so in exam if they give you the di numbers directly you can work it out or if they give you this formula I, I, I worked it out using n log n by n and then log m by n you come you convert it appropriately see how to convert it is I have I have used log m by n decoder uh, m decoder is implemented using log n by n decoder right and now you could di directly raise both of them to the power of 2 and the answers will be same answer doesn't change the number of either the levels required or the total number of uh, you know these uh, uh, decoders required the final answer doesn't change only thing is in place of uh, m you put 2 power m and in place of uh, log m you put m right it will be converted appropriately so follow this derivation it is very simple right this is how you could multi you know expand the uh, decoders using n code lines that enable lines, okay?